In this problem, we need to figure out how fast the water can splash so that it doesn't spray over the boundaries. Using our simplified diagram and coordinate system, let's write down what we know. In the horizontal direction, the starting location is at 0 meters. Point B is at 0 0.1 meters, point C is at 0 0.35 meters. The velocity of the water is V sine 40 degrees. For the vertical direction, we have the starting location at 0 meters. Point B is at negative 0.5 meters, and point C is also at negative 0.5 meters. We put our coordinate system at point A, so you can see that point B and C are both below point A, which means our values will be negative. The velocity of the water in the vertical direction is V cos 40 degrees. Let's not forget gravity, which is negative 9.81 meters per second squared. We can now write our equations. First, for horizontal motion, focusing on point B. For that, we can use this equation. Let's substitute what we know. We can isolate it for t and then set it aside to write an equation for vertical motion, again focusing on point b. For that, we will use this equation, and as before, we will substitute what we know in. We now have two equations with two unknowns, so we can solve them. That gives us the time the water takes to reach point b, and also the speed required to reach point b. Now let's do the same for point c. We will start with this equation, which is for horizontal motion, but for this one, we are focusing on point C. Substitute what we know in. We can isolate it for T and set it aside. Now we can write an equation for vertical motion, and we will substitute what we know in. Once again, we have two equations with two unknowns, so we can solve them. The time and velocity we get here represents the speed required and the time for the water to reach point C. Thank you for watching and if there are ways to improve these videos, please comment below.